Hi guys, this is a video about how to hook up a trailer to your car. And be sure to stay to the end of the video guys because I've got a great top tip for you. Okay, this is possibly exactly what you've got at home, okay, and what you're about to do. So let's just have a quick look, see what we've got here. So we have first of all have got the height adjust the lever. Okay, so by turning this clockwise or anti-clockwise will actually raise the arm of the trailer. Okay, so that's what that's for. Alright, second thing, you've got a, a locking mechanism here, that locking metal arm there. Now if I was to unscrew that, this this shaft, okay, the holding the actual front wheel, um, will actually go up and down, okay. But while this is locked in place, we adjust the height via the handle, okay. So that's that. The next thing guys is the handle itself, okay. Now, I'm going to reverse the car all the way to this point okay so i'm going to come straight into here and i'm going to stay approximately about three inches away with the car probably about there okay then i can adjust the height of the trailer arm with this handle to coincide with the ball on the car okay so here we go okay guys now i've got two options can either reverse the car another three inches right underneath the hood okay that's there or I can move my forward and onto the hood but one top tip guys don't forget to move the blocks okay guys in this case I've decided because I'm so close literally three inches away from the ball I've decided just to push the trailer over the ball in a minute there we go a little bit of wobbling back and forth and I'm nearly there that's a little bit too far okay now I'm there so okay guys I'm now going to I'm just gently holding the trailer over the ball and lowering the trailer as you can see using the height adjuster and you'll see it in a second it will lock into place There we are, we're on guys, we're on. Guys, the next thing I'm going to do is put this chain around. There we go guys, there's the uh, bracket there, holding that chain into place. So the next thing we need to do guys is to release the uh, height adjuster shaft so we can bring it up off the floor like so. Okay, so I'm just gonna, because obviously the, the car is now taking the weight of the boat so I'm just undoing this now and that will you'll see that this is nice and loose now okay okay guys the uh, height adjuster shaft is now loose so I'm going to lift that up and I'm going to tuck the wheel alongside the trailer arm and then tighten up this lever to lock it into place so it's not going to come down while you're driving around Okay, so that's that. That's nice and secure. This is nice and secure. The chain's on. We're ready to go, guys. We're ready to go. So, guys, just to recap, we've removed the blocks from under the wheels. We've secured the uh, arm of the trailer onto the ball of the car. That's not going anywhere. We've done a secondary support of adding the chain onto the arm of the uh, car okay we've lifted the height adjuster shaft off the floor so that the wheel is sitting alongside nice and secure okay that's not going to go anywhere okay onto the side of the trailer arm and we're pretty good to go guys so just to show you guys uh, most trailers are all the same these are all different boats look you can see all the different boats and all the mechanisms are pretty much similar whereas the one in the demonstration had a chain this has actually got a metal wire okay uh, that's the same there. There's your height adjuster uh, shaft. Okay, another, it's the same again, another rod, handle, you've got all that. It's all the same, and it's the same on this one as well. Okay, uh, the only difference with this one, there isn't a chain. It's always good to have that chain, guys, um, or at least some sort of support, just in case. You never know if this lever breaks um, and comes away from uh, the ball. So at least that chain will give you a lot of peace of mind uh, especially if you've got some distance to go to wherever you're going 
all right so if you're using like a box trailer and you're going on your holidays or somewhere like that then i would highly recommend you either have a, a wire like this or even more so a good strong chain that will keep it in place should the main trailer arm come away from the ball all right okay guys we've reached the destination so we're going to pretty much do the reverse of what we did before okay so what we're going to do we're going to drop the wheel so undo the release arm here lower it down and place your wheel where you want it preferably forward <laughs> okay tighten the wheel arm like that oh yeah bit of muscle in there boys oh yeah okay and then we basically raise the handle like so okay now that's what that's doing is releasing this trailer arm off the ball and the only thing that's holding it on the ball is a the chain and b mainly the handle on here that is a trigger okay so i'm going to place my hand on the handle and my thumb and i'm going to depress the trigger okay so here we go there we go okay and you can see the chain is secure around the ball pull it to one side put your chocks in place or your blocks for your wheels and drive away okay guys I did promise you a top tip didn't I I'm not only just gonna give you one top tip I'm gonna give you two and they're well worth knowing as well first top tip is one of these it's basically a towing ball protector keeps it dry from the rain and it keeps the grease inside the cup okay so you just put a little bit of grease in there slip it onto the ball and away you go you sort it it'll keep your balls greased up permanently all right there's your cup there's your ball on it goes okay perfect okay guys and the second top tip is equally as important as the first let's talk security there you go I've marked my trailer uh, you probably noticed it at the beginning of the video but uh, it just sort of acts as a deterrent really I mean if there's a trailer that's not been marked up and there's a trailer that's been marked up which one would you steal uh, if any, any at all obviously but so it just shows any potential thieves that you've gone to the trouble of painting your trailer and you, you're fully aware that there are thieves about so that's my uh, second top tip guys so just a quick video guys and I just hope that that's uh, been of help to you uh, thanks for watching Boating for Beginners and we'll see you around sometime soon rock and roll